Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here on assignment with guitarjams.com. Don't forget, click that link down below and sign the mailing list and it opens up a door to all the sort of free top secret stuff that's not here on YouTube. So click that link, do what I say. Um, so today I wanted to talk about a custom built, hand built tube amplifier that I recently acquired from Old Dog Guitar Gear. There is a link below, so feel free to click on that and uh, check out everything that they make. But I'm gonna be talking about this guy right here. Um, this is just the this is just the tube head that they make. It's the only head that they make. They are coming out with a combo amp soon, um, but this is pretty much the first thing out of their factory, and I love it. It sounds absolutely great. You know, it has that tonal quality that you know of like a vintage. Definitely has that quality of a vintage you know 50s 60s Fender amplifier. when I play vintage amps uh, here coming out of my guitars are sort of that that overtone harmonics coming out of the low end strings of my guitar um, meaning pretty much any of these strings down here with the winding on it um, you know they they get this tone and it's not just sort of like low guitar string sound it has this really beautiful high-end shimmer to those low notes and it's something that you don't get in like a modern day Fender amplifier or a modern day Marshall or whatever it is that you play that's modern but one of the big reasons is the mercury transformers that's in this amplifier in the old days you know in the 50s and 60s Fender used uh, Fender Marshall everybody was using uh, mercury transformers and the reason that they did was because it was the highest quality thing that money could buy uh, now, of course, you know, in modern times, the almighty dollar has sort of taken over, so they don't really plan overkill anymore. Um, you know, the, the amplifiers now, the transformers in them do exactly what they're designed to do. No more, no less. This transformer inside of this thing is designed to do a lot more than I will ever be able to give it um, just using this amplifier. And that might sound strange to you, but it was really one of those it really is one of those components that contributes to the tone beyond the hand wiring and beyond the tubes and the age of you know, an, an old tube amplifier, those mercury transformers are a big, big part of it. Um, now this does use one preamp tube and one power tube. And the other thing that I like about this is that you can swap those tubes out. Like right now I'm running a KT66. Uh, so you know, I'm getting that really big low end. Lots of beef out of the low end with a KT66, but I did try it with an EL34. Um, a lot more Britishy, you know, sort of bright tone, a lot more sort of Vox AC30 ish tone. Um, but if you're one of those people that likes that kind of an amplifier, you can still get this, put an EL34 in it, and, and then whatever preamp tube, you know, right now I have a 12AX7 in it, um, but I did try with a 12AT and a 12AU7. Um, just to, you know, try different gain uh, options in the preamp circuit of this. And, you know, they all sounded good. I just liked the hotness of the 12AX7. But having the option to switch tubes sort of free as you want is really, really awesome. Um, the other thing is they're using the vintage Jensen speakers in these cabinets. This is the closed back cabinet. Um, love these speakers. They use those old Alnico uh, design and it's um, just cool. You know, they sound great, sound just like the vintage things. The other thing is that they do these cool uh, customized cabinets and heads. You know, mine's sort of hodgepodgey, mix matchy pot lucky <laughs> kind of looks like a little bit of everything but that's just how I like it um, so I, I got a tweed head with a with the faux leather face and um, then the paisley I, I guess not grill cloth but um, what do you call it front baffle cloth let's just call it that but they do have tons and tons of fabric Tolex uh, tweed options vinyl for covering they have a open back and a closed back cabinet tons of options as far as the way they can look when you order it. Now the other thing that's really worth mentioning here is that these guys down at Old Dog, and it's one of the reasons that I really like this company now, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you really can't beat it. You know, if you buy this thing 
and you get it in your house and you've done everything you can to make it sound as good as you want, but it still doesn't sound that good, you can send it back and they'll send you your money back. Um, pretty much unheard of in the small amplifier builder's world. Nobody, I don't think anybody does a money back guarantee, so yay for old dog and that option. Now, the last thing that I, you know, love about this head, well, not the last thing, but one of the many things that I love about this head is the outputs on the back of it. There are four, eight, and 16 ohm outputs, meaning that you can combine or mix and match any different combination of cabinets that you could possibly throw at it. You know, between four, eight, and 16 ohms, you really should uh, never find a, a thing that this can't handle. Uh, situation that this cannot handle you know it's a very versatile amplifier but primarily you know the tone is awesome it's just I don't know I, I could shit I could sit here and spiel at you all day but the proof really is in the pudding and the thing just sounds gorgeous play guitar properly sounds gorgeous you know it just ah, great sustain great warmth great highs great lows um, you know across the face here I will say gain knob treble mid bass master volume standby switch and then the on off switch of course um, you know pretty much a very simple straightforward little amplifier uh, now, the last thing that I want to talk about is the construction um, of the cabinets is top notch. You know, I've seen a bunch of uh, custom built amplifiers and one of the places that they fall short is in the woodworking uh, of the cabinets. You don't have the problem with this company, not at all. These things are built like tanks. Um, I would have no problem dropping this down a flight of stairs, this cabinet, and <laughs> I mean the Tolex or the, the vinyl on the outside might get a little torn, but it will still play and it won't have cracked or anything. They're definitely built very well. So that's it, you guys. You know, check out olddogguitargear.com. Uh, the link is down below. So please, please, please check them out. They really do deserve your time and your, you know, your patronage. So if you are one of those people looking for that vintage tube amplifier sound, don't want to spend $5,000 on a vintage tube amplifier, spend the money over at Old Dog Guitar Gear and you won't regret it at all. And if you do regret it, you can send it back and they'll send you your money back. Ha! So how about that? Um, that's it, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And, um, you know, please subscribe to my channel as always. I always have videos coming out and um, I love it when people watch them. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.